All right, welcome to the Morning Mix After Show. At the end of the show, uh, I revealed that years ago I had grown a mustache when I didn't live here. And uh, I had to do it, we did it in November for Movember when men grow out their facial hair uh, to help raise money in the fight against prostate and uh, colon cancer and other men's cancers or whatever. Great, great causes. Great causes. So we grew a mustache. Um, and then when I got here, they were like, hey, do you want to wear pink? I'm like, that's so much easier. Yes, I would it love is. to do that. Yeah. So every October we raise money in the fight against breast cancer. But uh, Whip, you grew out a mustache for like a bit years ago. Yeah, it was a bit, I yeah. think. And I'm trying to remember if there was any like charitable aspect. I don't think there was. No. I think it was just like a dare or something along those lines. And I went to like a station event with a mustache. Right. Uh, grew it for a few weeks and then had it, you know. So uh, there are pictures of me. I can't seem to locate. I'm not even joking. I tried right. just now to find them. I cannot find them, but I know they exist. What's funny is at that time it was like creepy mustache was yeah. the vibe, right? But now I feel like the mustache has gone from being a creepy thing to being an ironic thing to just like, I see a ton of mustaches now. Dudes are just rocking mustaches. It's kind of seductive. Like, okay. I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to like it, but something about it just makes you stare at their mouth, and then you're like, oh, hmm. what's going on under there? Hmm. Yeah. Mickey, I could yeah. Joel, There's so many jokes. I'm just. Right. I, okay. Yeah, mustache, yeah. I've, never, mustache, I've never focused much on Joel, your husband's face and hair. Can he grow a beard? Can he grow a mustache? Like, could he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was saying, Whip, right now, you've got like a, a you got a lot going on. Yeah. It's a there. lazy beard. That's yeah. what I, 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 that's my signature almost. It's not on purpose, but I'm too lazy to shave every morning. And every day I, I do kind of go through it. I tell people this, like. Could I get 10 more minutes of sleep or could I shave today? And 10 more minutes of sleep wins like Most nine design. days out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. I think much. that's about where Joel stops. It's kind of like the low. I like that term, the lazy beard. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I guess for me, it's like if you, let's say you did shave every two days, it'd probably go faster than the, pro- you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, like, do you use you a, mean the shaving electric- process? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it would because by the time I let it go for like two weeks or whatever, right. I do it's have to like, use oh. the clippers to get like the massive right. to even bushy start. part off and right. then oh shave God. the rest, you know? <laughs> the massive bushy yeah, part yeah, off. Yeah, I heard you. Nothing heard you. dirty <laughs> about that. What, where I is your mind? These are just words. Where is your mind? Again. Um, so yeah, but uh, you're right. It would go much faster. I have always kind of struggled, honestly, with having like sensitive skin when it comes oh, to that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah. why I yeah. sort of uh, never got in the habit of shaving every day. And then I was in radio, and right? Then it didn't like, matter. No one really cares because, frankly, if you're not in a ripped Led Zeppelin T-shirt, yeah, it doesn't matter. You're probably like we winning. all are right now, yeah, exactly. right? Exactly. Uh, I uh, have never been able to really grow a good beard. It comes in very patchy and it's gross. Your beard comes in very nice, and you could, if you wanted to, you could rock a beard all the time if you wanted mm-hmm. to. I would have to shave the yeah, neck like a part, clean. You could clean it up, but have a nice beard. I always feel like if I'm going to do that, I might as well go all the way. But you're yeah. right. I uh, hopefully I uh, I may try to pull that off at some you point. You should. When I get to- how's your mustache coming yeah. along? You know, the you're, I can see you're, you've been feeling you it. Ladies, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah Here we go. Their hair. Yeah. Most women uh, shave their legs. Now in the winter, I know many are like, screw this. This is dumb. I'm yeah. wearing pants all the time. Who cares? Do you let it go, Nikki, or does that make you uncomfortable anyway and it's just a habit? Yeah, I mean, I might be getting a little lazier, but honestly, like, I don't like the way it feels, like, in bed on myself. Yeah, it's, like, too prickly. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. And then, V, you're, like, getting all your hair taken out of your body. I, I, well, I want to do that, but it doesn't really always work out. Um, um, So I went to an all-girls school, and we would have – this is <laughs> this is super gross. We used to have, um like – leg hair growing competitions to see who can go longest without shaving. And I never had a boyfriend throughout high school. So I was like, your girl is going to win this one. You were the champ? Yeah. Like it would get so crazy. And I'm a hair, like I'm a hairy Eastern European woman. Like it comes out of everywhere. I have like three hair chins that I have to pluck. Chin hairs. Yeah. I have, um, I do get a mustache a little bit that I need to take care of. I wax, I shave, uh, do whatever. We should do a segment of the dumb competition you did in high school. Mm, I feel yeah. like there were so many of yep. them. Like you did the leg growing thing or the hair growing on your legs. We did like hot dogs and everybody got sick. That's great. Yeah. Oh, the good old days. Uh, so this is a mustache conversation at heart, right? And I just thought of something which I don't think I have much opportunity to tell other than in a mustache conversation. <laughs> So, you know what? We're out of time. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. You're going to have to save like, it. I think you'll like this in particular. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is the after show. So, this is where you do things like this. So, just <laughs> before I started working here full time, I was working part time here and a couple of other radio stations, including the sports station. Okay. 
So the Blackhawks won their first Stanley Cup oh, title. Yeah. And my job that night for the sports station was to go to real-time sports in Elk Grove Village and be there with the crowd and do call-ins. From a, There were a number of us around yeah. everywhere yeah, in yeah, town yeah. doing call-ins when the Blackhawks would win this Stanley Cup, right? And do a scene <laughs> setter and describe what it's like. Which, by the way, is basically going to be like, People are going crazy. They're very excited, yelling yeah. and screaming and drinking, and they're excited. That would be like, what else do you want me to say, right? So anyway, as as the Blackhawks won, I'm on hold, waiting to go on, waiting, waiting, waiting. And it, it occurred to me as I was waiting that a lot of Chicago championship coaches had mustaches. Yeah. Phil Jackson, Ozzie Guillen, Mike Ditka, and at that time, Joel Quenville. This hit me as I'm on hold, so I'm like, I got it. This is going to be brilliant. I'm going to go on. <laughs> So I go on, and I'm like, hey, I don't know if you, whoever the host was, I don't know if you thought of this, but think about it. All these mustachioed coaches have won titles in Chicago. So I, I get off my little hit. My cell phone rings immediately with the program director's phone number, and I'm like, Oh crap! I I'm did like, so good. He must yeah, be so oh my god. god! I'm about to get a raise. Oh my god! Here we go. Here's and my raise. This was the conversation. Hello. <laughs> Mustache jokes! Mustache jokes! The Blackhawks just won the Stanley Cup and you're doing mustache jokes? Are you kidding me? Click. <laughs> I, was like, I, I swear to God. Oh, I love oh, that, man. though. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I, I better get another full-time job soon because this might be a problem oh, here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> mustache jokes. <laughs> that's true, by so the way. So do you still stand by your mustache segment? I still thought it was still thought it was. I still thought it was a... a great uh, 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 an observation which yes. needed to be made. Okay. If we do another morning mix trivia night, then uh, you have to work that in. What yeah. did these four men have in <laughs> common? Mustache jokes. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, there you go. We're done with our mustache after wow. show. Thank you for allowing me to get that out. Hey, everybody needs a place to let it out. <laughs> Listen to the morning mix weekdays from 530 to 10 on 101.9 The Mix or with the free mix app. It's waiting for you in the Apple App Store and Google Play. And grow out your mustache. We'll see you tomorrow on the morning mix.